Stacks and bars. Yo, it is Stacks and Bars, the stock market hip hop podcast, the only place you'll find finance mixed with hip hop. And this is part two of my conversation with Dex McBean. And we're going to talk about his album. We're going to talk about hip hop. We're going to talk about him starting his business and so much more. Let's go. I got my click ready to use the money they got from jobs and courage and teaching them that it's not so hard. I'm doing this, making investing pop. You law is extra. You tuning in to stocks and bars. When you made this album, what inspired you? to make this album like what experiences did you go through that inspired you to make it um a lot of understanding a lot of understanding of how of how things work you know yeah um i always tell people that uh that on 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 a, on, on a modern hip-hop album right you gotta have you gotta have a project you gotta have a song that's for your ops Right? <laughs> right opposition who you coming at yo yeah. yo son you don't see in the ops no nah. yeah yeah so I'm making this financial literacy album. I'm like, yo, I need the ops. So who's gonna be my ops? I went, I went to a, I went to a club and I went to go take some money out. And these dudes charged me three dollars to take Just out to take your twenty dollars of my yep. own money. Yep. I said, y'all is gonna need the ops. <laughs> <laughs> so I started. Got I, did, I did research. You know, I, I, I researched banks. I researched how they worked. I researched how they began, how they began, and and all of that learning. And I did that with several different topics. You know, um, I did it with banks. I did it with with a capital gains tax, and and all of those things were the inspiration um, for the album. Me learning how these things work and saying, "Yo, this is crazy," but I could also make a dope song with this and teach people the same thing that it took me, you know, x amount of hours. Yeah, with my personal interests, because even if you're not interested, it affects you every day. Right, right. Yeah, when it when it comes to this stuff, man, I'm the same way. I learned about it. I got hit upside the head, and as soon as I learned about it, I started to perfect who I was about it, and then that's what mm-hmm. birthed me going out and trying to educate people about it because I didn't want anybody going in the same pitfalls as me, especially if you look like me, because I felt like we were targeted the most when it comes to this, because we don't have the education. You ain't got to feel like it. There's there's data, there's statistics. (laughs) (laughs) We are targeted the most. (laughs) (laughs) They come to extract the money from us the most. That's why we get hit with the like you said the three dollar fees for that then you get overdraft fees which i think are ridiculous Mm -hmm. like all of these things are designed to just continually pull money from you and keep you under and it doesn't make any sense whatsoever to me but you talked about the inspiration to write the album so tell me you know what what does it take like how do you go about making a song like how do you approach making a song um, on something that's so nuanced, like like a topic like banks or or super PACs or something like that, I do my best to to gather as much information first, right? Okay. Um, once once my brain is full, <laughs> <laughs> that's when the ideas start coming. You know, because I think uh I think mo- uh, for the majority of people, they'll read a sentence, right? The sentence just look, looks like, you know, uh, Wells Fargo and Truist Bank formed a partnership with, you know, Chase and Unity, right? Yeah. That just sounds like a regular sentence. But in my mind, I'm thinking, yo, Wells Fargo is like, yo, someone wishing you well and, and that you'll go far, right? Yeah. And, you know, Unity, Unity, there's really no Unity in the community with the banks, right? You know, and, and Chase, the banks are just chasing profits, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so when I got all of that information in my brain and the way that my brain processes it, it's just like, oh, okay, we can we can pick this apart. And now these regular words, like, that are just common, you know, now they become colors in, in, a, in a picture that I start to paint, right? Yeah. So now that we know more about money, let's go back in time. All right. So the first time you got a major chunk of money, I don't know what major chunk may look like, hundred thousand, whatever it may be. Like, what did you do when you got, 
<laughs> what did you do when you got your very first huge chunk of money that you consider like, oh, I got this. What did you do with it? Um, I held it for a minute. It was it was that I, I really got it in a weird space in my life. You OK. Know? Um, and I didn't get it in lump sums. I was I was I was young and I had started a company that I uh, I was doing a, a loan packaging company. So basically we just uh, um, take clients informations and as long as they reach the criteria um, in order to to get approved for for um, financial institution loans we would package their loans for them and send it off to different financial institutions. So they, mm. they would get the maximum amount of funding in the shortest amount of time. Um, so I did that for a number of years and the checks was crazy on that. <laughs> like, I imagine. Yeah. Especially when you, bundle it I was, up. Like, you know, it was me and my, and my, my two, my two other partners, we left the company that we were working for that. We just felt we wasn't getting paid enough. So <laughs> and we were doing all the work. So we just duplicated the whole thing and started our entire company. Um, and, and that was like, Two grand a week checks, three grand, five grand sometimes. Okay. Um, when I started getting that, I just started stacking. I honestly, I didn't change my lifestyle at all. I didn't That's go buy up. nothing. I just, I was, I was, I had like thirty thousand dollars in cash, like padlocked to a radiator in a, <laughs> in a fireproof state. <laughs> like I was on some real hood ish, like. <laughs> I was moving like a drug dealer, but I had a legitimate business. Man, my first chunk, I had it in a Nike shoe box. See, I'm telling you. That's what they taught us. <laughs> right. I had it straight up in a Nike shoe box, and I had them all rolled up with a rubber yeah, band around it. And it was inside of the shoe box, and I had, you know, my, my G's in there. And I, everything that yep. was rolled up was either 100. <laughs> that was fives and twenties all together. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like I yep, had it yep, all yep. individualized like that. Yep. And I remember it make, it easy, make it easy to count. Yeah. <laughs> I, I remember when I <laughs> shout out to Joey Fingers, right? A DJ that was and, around here. And I remember the first time I got on on the mixtape. Because you know, you gotta you gotta pay to, to play, right? So it was right. five hundred. He was like, All right, you went on the tape, this is the course. Like, I right, bet. Where you want me to meet you at? So I come, <laughs> I come up in my hoodie and I had all the money rolled up. He was like, yo, this is the most drug dealer looking money I ever seen in my life. I was like, no, nah, I don't deal drugs, man. I don't deal drugs, bro. <laughs> but this is how I keep my money, though. This is this how it is. Yeah, this, this is how I knew how to, to keep the money because that's how I saw it, right? That's how, that's how, that's how we saw it to us. You know, there's a whole fact. Nike shoebox. Rolled up. Shout out to everybody who taught me that. <laughs> <laughs> Nike shoe box for holding all the stash. <laughs> all right. So you said the first time you got your lump sum of money, you didn't really spend it at all. So let's fast forward to now. What would you do with that same amount of money? With the thirty, with the thirty stacks, yeah, honestly, yeah, yeah. what would you do? I because I have different things that I've invested my time in and brands that I'm building and, 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 a and an understanding of a better understanding, at least at this point in my life of how to build them. I would mostly just invest into the things that I'm already investing mm, in. You know, I would okay. just accelerate the current journey that I'm on. Um, honestly, like with inflation, 30 grand, not even that much. No, <laughs> it's just a different 30 now. It's a different 30 right now. You know, that's like in New York City, that's like a, not even not barely a year, a year worth of rent. That's hard. You know, <laughs> crazy. <laughs> you know, so right now it wouldn't be nothing crazy, bro. It would either just be a strict, strict investment into into the, the things that I have intellectual property in that I'm trying to build as brands and businesses, um, as well as just scrolling away you know in, in some uh some index funds yeah um, yeah i might i might play a little bit with the forex you know a little 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 exchange just to you know if you if you can read a chart then you know you know you yeah yeah <laughs> a little risk on there a little little you know a little two to one roi or roi right there <laughs> this is the growth i'm talking about man you know we're supposed saying? to be doing so, this 
Yeah. We ain't we ain't out here we ain't out here trying to play. We ain't out here I ain't I ain't buying an ounce again. <laughs> <laughs> we not doing that over. We not doing that again. <laughs> this is the Unless growth, man. It, that was a whole now it's a whole different house. Now I'm now I'm flipping it. Now yeah. you know this it's is a little more legal. <laughs> yeah, this is everything that we're supposed to be doing right now, right? Yep. Like when I first got my little bit of money, I spent it. Mm. Hands down, I spent it. I went and I got clothes, I got shoes. You know, shout out to my brother. What we used to do all the time was we used to get fly. Mm. He was in school. My brother is six years younger than me. So when I was in college, he was in high school. And we would get fly together. So anytime I got paid, me and my brother would go out and we go out and we just go shop. And it'd be basically every single pay time. So it would mm. be Saturday. He's like, yo, what, what we want to do? Let's go to the mall, right? This is when going to the mall was cool. So we <laughs> we go, hit Foot Locker, and we just looking for, looking, just money just burning. You know what I'm saying? Just, just looking, Yeah, yeah looking, just, looking money yeah, on. that's it. And it was no plan whatsoever except for to go in there and blow, right? So we going in there like, okay, what shoes is out? You like those? Yeah, all right, let me, let me try that on and then, you know, this size, all right? All right, we ain't got that size. All right, what about this over here? You know, and we right, spend yeah, 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 just <laughs> no plan whatsoever except for that to just leave me. So yeah. we would drop four or five hundred dollars easily. I remember, you know, every now and then I don't know about you, but you know, I, the shoe boxes, right? I kept my shoe boxes of taxes. So mm. I used to go through all my old taxes and look at what I used to spend my money on. I found a receipt from Best Buy that oh, when the shoot. first Xbox came out, yeah. I dropped seven hundred dollars on a new Xbox, two controllers, memory say, card, <laughs> <laughs> memory card, three games, all cash. I was like, "Yo, I was wow. wilding!" <laughs> wow, <laughs> just so me and my brother could play the game. Just like, so you can play it. Yeah, that's, that's it, crazy. man. I was like, I I came in with all cash with that? That's me on tape? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, man, how, how many rolls did I walk in with? <laughs> <laughs> but it, again, man, it was just, that's what it was, man. It was designed for me just to leave and go right. help somebody else out, basically. <laughs> I was helping Best Buy else. out. Yeah. Had I known what I know now, I would have bought Best Buy shares. Well, yep. You know what I'm saying? I would have probably invested in some with a dividend. That same money when it came back and been able to Absolutely. afford me another Xbox and another Xbox. You know another what I'm saying? Xbox. Yeah. Yep. So that's the you, difference you know between that. We, we could we could we could check the chart and do the, the historical the historical <laughs> data of what what the Microsoft stock was. <laughs> oh or the thing you bought the Xbox. You probably you probably be bad as hell. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to get that mad this late at night, bro. <laughs> That Microsoft back then would have been, mm. yeah, that would have been sweet, man. I mean, this is a it's a weird age to be, right? Because we're looking at all of these things that we seen get built while we was here. <laughs> yeah, we was part of the building. Like this we is what part of the building. Yeah, this is what vexes me about all of this. If I were to learn all of this, we we've built everything there is right yep. now in America. Straight up, everything there is right now is built off of us. And the minute that we come to the understanding that we hold that type of power, it's over. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That there's there's nothing going to stop us from accelerating where we need to be at. And I think the pendulum will swing into our favor. And once we educate our children and it's in their system, like, yo, yep. hold up, what? Nah, we don't we don't do that over here no more. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that money circulates that. now. You know what I'm saying? That's right that's the key component to everything our culture has missed is that circulation of that dollar. It's that circulation. Yeah. That circulation. Gotta keep it coming back in, man. Once we fix that problem, it's over, man. Yeah. Because everybody I mean, else we, we we control a couple billion dollars as a community. Yeah. So if we could just keep circulating within the community. That day is coming. That day it's is coming. coming, man. Yeah. So let, let's talk about that gap, right? We talked about how you made your first, you know, 30,000 to what you would do with it now. So in between there, there's some learning. So how 
did you get from that point to this point? Woo! The 2008 <laughs> in a, a mortgage crisis. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that 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 was the start of it because I honestly that's what shuttered my business that I was making all that cash. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know? that would make some sense. You give yeah, out credit, so, nobody's uh, available for credit no more. That was it. They, <laughs> they shut they, they they shut the tap off, and then it was like, "Yo, what are we doing?" Yeah, yeah. Um, I, and I honestly, I I took that thirty stacks, and I, I really just I sat my ass down. Um, and and in that time, it's like you know, it was a weird time because for 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 a lot of us, that was really the end of what we thought America was. Mm. You know, you go to school, you get a job. And you work, right? And right. As long as as long as you work, you're gonna be good. Your company's gonna take care of you. You know. You know what? That's and, a fact. That's the death of it, right there. That minute. And that and that just pulled the wool off of everybody's eyes. And it was like they're not gonna take care of you at all. Mm, ain't no when, fair when ones out hit, here. Like my mom would say, when the hitch hit the fan, it's a wrap for you. <laughs> like you the first to go. Yeah. You know, so that definitely um, opened my eyes. To, to being like, you know what, I can't, I can't do this for someone else ever again, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, I was already out of the rat race because I had the business, but re-entering it did not the become day. an option at all, you know? <laughs> He's like, I'll figure it out again. I'll, I'll figure it out. <laughs> Dude, I, I, from, 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 when I, from when I started seeing money like that, I was like, there's no way that I could go back. Yeah. You know, I either got to find something within the confines of the system that I can do the same way, or I just got to break out of it and 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 make my own lane. Yeah, yeah. So now that we've learned our lessons and we've understood how 2008, how a COVID impacts us, what type of rules do you live by now? Um, always know that there's a tomorrow. And every day is a new beginning. Um, and yourself is is the most important self that you need to take care of. Right. Um, that's the biggest investment that you can make. The more you invest in, in yourself and your knowledge and the things that you know and the things that you understand, you will eventually be become invaluable, you know? Right. To 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 not only anyone else but to yourself because they can't take away the stuff that you know you know you 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 learn how to they they say like a uh, retirement is supposed to be 66 right 65 66 that's what so they you're say. supposed to work from you from your 18 to 66 and then you get to sit down and relax it's crazy <laughs> i ain't it's part crazy. of that yeah i don't want nothing to and, do with and that if you, and, and and then again if you if you uh if you keep yourself healthy so 66, you might still got a little bit of energy. Like, you know what? I need to go outside and, uh, <laughs> hold on. I, I see you. <laughs> my light just kicked out on me real quick. They was like, all right, shut the, shut the lights off. Shut the lights off. <laughs> <laughs> now I was like, uh, you might still want to be able to go outside and make a little extra income. Right. But that's not dictated by, by, by you doing a little too much. Right. But right. you learn to trade. You could trade for the rest of your life. Anywhere. Mm -hmm. Anywhere in the planet. Anywhere. Anywhere on the planet. It's all you it's need a is a phone now. Yep, that's it. You know, and um that was one of the biggest lessons that I learned. Um to invest in yourself, invest in your knowledge, invest in your skills, because uh eventually that will be where you earn your wealth. One thing I want to tell anybody listening to this, skills are transferable. Right? There's not wherever you at, that's what it's supposed to be used for. So when the skill is transferable, all that just means is whatever you do now, there's somewhere else you can apply that same thing. Just a little bit of a tweak, but I guarantee you that skill is transferable. If you're a hustler, you know what? You can easily go and do anything else in the world because especially in sales, that's all it is. It's mm -hmm. just a hustle. You're going to out-hustle somebody. <laughs> like that skill is transferable. Everybody just needs Absolutely. to know that their skill set is valued in other places period and you can okay. you can do no wrong when it comes to that so anybody out there who's looking to make a change in their life 
Your skills are transferable to anywhere you want to apply them. <laughs> this is a fact out there. <laughs> That's the whole fact. Yeah. The fact. All right, so let, let's let's go ahead and wrap this one up, right? So let's let's close out with what hip hop you listening to right now. I know you listening to the Nas. We got six albums in two years, right? Oh so, man, yeah, 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 absolutely. That is definitely. I'm listening to that Nas. Yeah. Um, it's been it's been um uh, it's been difficult only because. I've been focusing on 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 my album, so right, right. I, I try not to like muddle <laughs> the process too much. Next Understood. Thing, you know, yep. I'm I'm writing some I'm writing something, and it's like, yo, hold on, why does it sound like King's Disease? <laughs> you know. <what> I mean? <laughs> but um, I I check in. I check, I definitely check in with Cole. I checked in. You know, checking. We got to check in with what, with, with what everybody's listening to. Let's yeah. check in with the new with Drake. Um, like I said before, I check in with Joyner Lucas. Um, I, I always check in with M. Anytime he got he say something, um, not just for the content, but for the the delivery, the style, the, the penmanship, the way yeah. that you know puts the words together. Because if you if he can take such obscure things and make it sound and then how he sounds, then then I, I should be able to do the same thing for people's IRAs and right, and right, ETFs and stuff. Yeah, shout out to you for making this cool, man. Like, like you said, we can make anything cool. The one thing yep. about our culture is we get tapped to turn anything into a profit. Mm-hmm. If you look at anything back in the '90s, mm-hmm. when it needed help, it went to hip hop. It went when, to hip hop, and when it blew even, up, even sold it was, everything. Yeah, even we sold everything with hip hop. Mm-hmm. We've done sports drinks, we've done mm-hmm. clothing, we've done perfumes, and all sorts of fragrances like you give hip hop food we've we sold it all right sold this is what i'm all. saying we are the backbone of whenever needs some, some something needs help right even the super bowl yep. we saved the super bowl basically yeah hip hop came into it cuz super bowl ratings were going <laughs> dismal right now list jay z all right, let me pin Dre. Let me let me get Snoop on. Here we are. At that point in time when I came out, that was the yep. seventh most viewed hip hop halftime or halftime show of all time. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Like, just like that. You put hip hop yeah. in, it was in top 10. You know what I mean? Like, we saved <laughs> the we Super saved. Bowl. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hip hop, superheroes all day long. All day. Yeah, man. Yo, Dex, brother, I appreciate Yo. you for everything that you're doing in hip hop right now. I look forward to the success. You know I'm following. You know I'm sharing. You know what I'm saying? I see you I on know, the Punchline know, Academy. Yeah, I'm, I'm out here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Whenever I see anybody doing anything, like I tell my daughters all the time, it never hurts to help, right? It, well, I take that back. Sometimes it can hurt you to help, right? <laughs> <laughs> what I meant to or say it, is to be nice. Like, like it this tight and share if you can, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> to be That's nice it. costs you nothing. That's what I tell them, right? That's true. You know what I'm saying? If I see somebody out there really on what they want to do, I'm sharing, you know? I don't have, like, the biggest following in the world. But that doesn't mean that hey, I can't come on, share, bro. You, you, you know, know your following is your following is bigger than you think, man. I don't had <laughs> I don't had people done clone your page and offer to, to oh, sell yeah, me Bitcoin yeah, 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 like yeah, four that, times that, already. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that I can't avoid. You know what I'm saying? I, I try my best. And yo, you know what, man? I wanna I wanna straight up Dookie on Instagram for this, right? Because why y'all allow this to even happen? If somebody try to report <laughs> this. You know what I'm saying? If you, I'm trying to report it. I'm letting you know who it really is. Like I'm the guy they're copying. It's, it's me. Yeah. I can call you right now. Yeah. <laughs> like listen to me. I'm telling you, this guy is impersonating me. Shut him right. down. Shut oh, nah, him down. Like, yeah. well, how do we know that you're not impersonating yeah, him? Look, like, y'all, 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 y'all bugging. What you <laughs> yeah, y'all bugging. Y'all just y'all really out here to make sure that y'all throw up smoke all the time. But anyway. Yeah. Yeah. That's another rant for another podcast. Instagram That's beef. Another one. <laughs> Might write a diss track <laughs> on Instagram. <laughs> oh man, you know what? I'm with it. You know, you know, I'm out here. This I'm just everybody. I'm gonna we'll put it out on there. Mark Zuckerberg, everybody targets. That's it. I'm going oh, at him. Oh, Bezos done. <laughs> I want the bars back. I want the smoke. Bring it. Bring it. <laughs> 
Yo, fam, I appreciate you seriously, man. Much love to Yo, you. Yo, I appreciate you having me out here, man. Yeah, and, and one thing I always do on my show is I tell people I love them, man. I don't need to know anybody personally in order to say that. One thing in our culture, we've been jaded from being able to say the word love. And we, we get this whole funny feeling about another guy telling another guy, I love you. Like, yo, we, we dead in that, all of that, especially on this podcast. Brother, I love you. I want to see you succeed. I can't wait to see how successful this becomes. I can't wait to see how your impact comes for hip hop, showing people how finance is so cool. All of this, man, I'm looking forward and I'm rooting for you. And I, like I said, bro, <laughs> I'm with you all the way, man. Let's do it, man. I love you too, my brother. We're going we gonna to break the statements. We're going to be out here sharing the love amongst the brothers out here. Absolutely. Yo, and everybody out there, please definitely check out the new album, Wealth. We all live to hustle this June 10th, 2024. Yeah. Wealthymusic.com. Win crease all day. Oh, uh, yo, Nas, let me hold this beat for a minute, fam. Put a little finance on it. <laughs> I'm in my bag, I went into my Reese's Financial rap, there's nobody else to teach these Dex and X together for my power yet to be seen No cursing, gotta let you know I'm on my feces The stock market was on my box of Wheaties I master reading charts and nobody believes me Overcame the ridicule ha ha he he's Tune the noise out, can't hear the rah-rah Achieve peace that way Don't tell me how it can't be done Please leave that way This the Thanos snap rap See the other half? Wait, <laughs> 50 year maturity this the first time you hear financial rhymes put on the beat. I rap stocks with dividends. You can get them quarterly. It's only one win crease. I'm being who I'm born to be. Dollar Globe Trotters. Me and Dex formed the team. Iron Man, the war machine. They ready for the they storm. They can only imitate. They can never stop this. They ain't here for problems. Only the profits. Decrease my losses. Increase my wins. They say that success is the best revenge. They can only imitate. They can never stop this. They ain't here for problems. Only the profits. Decrease my losses. Increase my wins They say that success is the best revenge Yeah, this the conglomerate Flip a profit quick and then we pocket it Cash flow positive, your account balance opposite Miscalculate reward to risk I tell you what your problem is You lack competence, what's affecting all of your confidence We being the rap economist, we losing, that's preposterous Nobody adding value to the game like this was calculus To the moon on a rocket ship, they feeling it No stopping for this financial rap so you can count on Just like an advocate, me being an ex Giving access to assets over these classics Burning a candle at both ends Prodigy wreaking havoc like John Wick So stick a fork in the hater like Bitcoin when you half it Peep how this go, don't panic Ride the swing like a pendulum Out rapping the best of them cold brew dripping Benjamins Dividends reinvested them, that's what they asking for I'm leading the resistance with mad support Thin lit metaphors, we eat no matter what Like I can rap the spork I need the bread, dough, cheese, and chicken in the six piece Big money talk, pay attention, hear a pip squeak Revealing all the mystique, don't crack and wipe your TP Switch your gears here and Balls just, just like the 10 speed. Like a, you can find me at the top of all the best beat. Meet me more moves on the board than the chess piece. It's wealthy music, Dex with being X and Wayne Creation. They can never stop this. They ain't here for problems. Only the profits. Decrease my losses. Increase my wins. They say that success is the best revenge. They can only imitate. They can never stop this. They ain't here for problems. Only the profits. Decrease my losses. Increase my wins. They say that success is the best revenge. Stop, 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 stop.